So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem frogs and jumps. So n frogs are positioned at one end of the pond. All frogs want to reach the other end of the pond as soon as possible. So the pond has some leaves arranged in a straight line. Each frog has a strength to jump exactly k leaves. For example, a frog having strength 2 will visit the leaves 2, 4, 6, etc. while crossing the pond. So given the strength of each frog and number of leaves, your task is to find the number of leaves that not be visited by any of the frogs when all frogs have been have reached the other end of the pond. So let's understand the question. So initially uh, we are given something like, let's say my frog has strength four. So that means he can jump four, then can jump to eighth leaf, then can jump, jump to 12th leaf. That means it's multiples, four into one, four into two, four into three, et cetera. Okay, so this is the question. Like let's say here is a frogs given, whose strength are given three, two and four, here are the leaves. So let's mark the leaf as first leaf, second leaf, third leaf and fourth leaf. So let's say our frog strength is three. So, so one frog came here. Now he can go to six, but no leaf is available. So just stop here. Similarly, let's come to two. Let's come to two. So one frog can stay here. Now two into one, two into two, two into three, all can be taken. But here two into two is available. So mark that as also one. So this frog can jump from here to here. Similarly, can jump here, but no one is available. So can't jump. Similarly, this frog has strength four. So he can jump from four into one, four into two, but four into one is already marked. Four into two is not available. So all frogs are taken. So these leaves are visited. Now we can see one at leaf is not visited. Number of leaves which are not visited are one. So answer is one. If they were two, so answer will be two obviously. Number of leaves which are not visited, unvisited. That, that is the answer. So how can we approach this question? So initially that is given like leaves is equal to eight and array is equal to three, two, four, six. So what we are going to do, let's see. Let's say we have leaves eight. So let me mark one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we are given eight leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now my frog strength is three. So my first frog will come here. So let me mark this as frog number one. Now frog strength is three. So he can go three into one, three into two, three into three, three into four, and so on. So three, six, nine, twelve. So yeah, he can frog one can be here. Now frog one can be here. Now nothing is available nine. So just stop it. Three, six k completed. Now we come to two. Now similarly, uh, two can go here. You can go 2 into 1, 2 into 2, 2 into 3, 2 into 4. Okay. So we can say that frog 1, frog 2, frog 2 will come here, frog 2 will come here, frog 2 can come here, but already frog 1. So anything can be possible. It is visited by frog 1 only. So don't visit again. Now F8, so frog 2 will come here. Now 4. Now you can see, just understand one thing like what is 4? Four? 4 comes in 2's multiple, like 2 into 1, 2 into 2, 2 into 3, 2 into 4, 2 into 5, 2 into 6. So you can see these are multiples of 4. That means, that means they are already visited. So we do not vis need to visit it again. So whatever, so whenever we get a number which is already visited, let's say 4 is already visited. That means its multiples are also visited by someone too. Let's say, let's take 6. Now 6. Now 6 will say I am visited. That means, let's say if it have 2, so it, it could be uh, divisible by 2 and 3 as well. So it would be visited by that. So whenever a number comes which is already visited, that means it is already visited by someone. So this is the approach that you're going to use. So like, what is the time complexity? So as we've done previous, like we saw C of Aristotelian, like that is complexity n log log. But here we don't have n log log n by, because in C of Aristotelian, like we complete in order, like n by two, then n by three. So obviously we skip n by four and then come to n by five because two has visited four. Similarly, we, we skip n by six because three and two can visit six. But here, uh, ordering is not possible. So let's say four will come first. So let's say four will come first, like here we have four. So four, four will come first. So four will visit fourth, then uh, eighth. But here we can see twos, people are left, two, six, four are visited, eight and visited, but twos and six are left because number which is multiple has already done, but it's smallest multiple has not done this. So that's why complexity can increase to n log n. Okay, so that's the reason the complexity is not n log, log n, n log n. And we can say we are wasting number of leads so n log leaves. So how can we say like leaves by two? We will visit leaves by four, leaves by three, leaves by four. We will visit like all. So that can be considered as and for every n iteration we do this. So that's why n log leaves is the complexity. So let's solve this question. It's similar to sieve or SOE question. So let's code this approach. So initially we are given a visited array. So that is a number of leaves we are going to visit. It. So since we have, uh, since we are going to visit all the leaves, so we will create a leaves plus one array. 
based on one base indexing. And what we'll do, we are going to traverse, go to every frog. Okay. Now let's say the current frog strength is num. Okay. Now I will check if num is not exceeding the leaves. Okay. So what that can happen like frog strength is seven and my number of leaves are six. So obviously seven, we don't need to visit the seven, obviously. So we will say if num is less than leaves, otherwise it will overflow the array. And we will check if we are going to visit same multiple again. If we are going to visit, like I, I said, like when I was traversing like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So if we are going to visit four, six, four, eight, 12. So it will not make any sense. So we will say that if we are going to visit them again, so don't visit. Otherwise, if we are visiting now, uh, so we will check. We are going to every leaf. And since I said, I will be going to two, four, six. Similarly, I will be going to three, three plus th uh, three, six, six plus three, nine, nine plus three, twelve. So this will happen. So we will say, what do we do? We will increase it by num. That is a strength. J plus is equal to num. And for every person, like every leaf, I will mark that is true, that is visited. Okay. So at the end, what I will do? And answer is equal to zero. And I will count number of leaves which are not visited. So I will check live plus plus. And I will check if this leaf is not visited. That means answer plus plus. And add the end return answer. So this is, let's run the code. Mm. Yes, so let's submit the code. Yes, so it is totally working fine. So this was all about code. Very easy question based on C's. So thank you and have a nice day.